see someone in a wheelchair and they can say they have a disability. But when you look like a, a cute little blonde seven-year-old who's, you know, cheering, you don't know that there's a disability. Oh, one in every 88 kids, in fact, has been identified with an autism spectrum disorder. For the parents, every day holds new worries. Whether their child has a hard time socializing, prone to seizures, or tends to wander off, Jessica Sanchez shows us how specially trained service dogs are giving parents new peace of mind. We've heard of dogs trained to service the blind or to sniff out bombs, even dogs that sniff out bed bugs. But more and more parents with autistic children are turning to service dogs that are trained to track and find kids who wander off and even alert the family a good hour before the child is about to have a seizure. Follow the sidewalk, then walk through the grass. At least once a week, the Merriam family does a track and find drill with their dog, Heaven. For seven-year-old Taylor, it's like playing hide and seek. Hey, where's your girl? Where's your girl? But for her mom, Teresa, it's a potentially life-saving practice. She's picked it up. She's picked up a good strong scent. For many families who have a child on the autism spectrum, this is a real-life scenario. Parents that have kids on the spectrum sometimes are, you know, on a more heightened alert because they know their child has a tendency to run. <laughs> yeah. Yay! While Taylor looks like a typical second grader, she has Asperger's syndrome, which makes her prone to seizures. And this is where Heaven lives up to her name. She is a service dog, specially trained by a nonprofit group called Four Paws for Ability. One of her specialties is being able to sense an oncoming seizure a good one hour before it happens. Kids or anyone who has epilepsy um, before they have a seizure, apparently they have a pheromone, a, a chemical smell that comes out of their ear and um, these dogs can smell it. You can sleep through the night. Yes, there were so many times that Taylor um, would have so many seizures that she would have labored breathing or she would just stop breathing. But having that dog now that is barking at the start of a seizure is so amazing. But Heaven isn't just a life-saving dog. Like any canine, she offers Taylor companionship. <laughs> Something that doesn't come easy for a child with autism who has a hard time interacting with kids her own age. The Merriam family was fortunate enough to be able to raise Heaven's $13,000 price tag in a rather short amount of time with help from the community. But as you can imagine, it can sometimes take families a few years to raise the money. So if you'd like more information or would like to donate, we've set up a link to Four Paws for Ability on clickorlando.com. Just look under Thursday's Seen on Six section. I'm Jessica Sanchez, Local Six. That's amazing. Docs can smell that with that olfactory they, they have. They really can. And, uh, you know, my daughter's a diabetic and they have dogs out there that are supposed to be able to smell low blood sugar, which can also Incredible. cause seizures overnight. It can get very yeah. dangerous. So, uh, they're amazing creatures. Yeah. I just, I would love for it to be more um, widespread so they're not as expensive. Yeah. Right? 13000 is a lot of money. a lot of money. But a lot of peace of mind for, for any family. Alright, here's what we're working on for tomorrow night at 11.